subscribe, please. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Gimpy, and I'm here with something just a little bit different for you this time. Um, this is actually a voiceover of a video I originally did doing an unboxing of the new conversion kits for the 2.0 X-Wing that just got released. And I don't know if it was my, you know, exuberation of the hurricane passing me by, but I gotta say I was a lot lighter on them uh, in the unboxing than I would have been now. And uh, this is not going to be a positive review of these things. There's some serious mistakes here, and I don't know if it's negligence or cash grabby, but there, there's some problems that uh, I feel the need to point out, so we're going to go over uh, a few of those now. I'm just going to take and let the unbox I filmed just play in the background so you guys can see what's actually in the kit themselves, and I'll discuss some of the specific points that uh, I point out as I'm unboxing the kit itself uh, as we go along. The big problem that I'm seeing is there were some decisions made that just make me question what the hell they were thinking uh, when it comes to what they actually ended up putting in these boxes. Now, the grand idea of 2.0, I'm not against, okay? They want to revitalize the game, bring in new players, change the power creep that uh, had happened over the years. I I'm fine with all that. The, the general consensus of everyone as far as the the new point oh system is concerned is a positive one and from what i've seen so far it seems like the the new rules and components and everything for the most part everyone's happy with that it's the way they've implemented it the the app has not been done well the conversion kits uh definitely are not up to snuff for what they should be for existing x-wing players who have spent a lot of money on their products over the years and then suddenly you're changing everything up and saying hey all the old stuff you have it's not really good anymore you're gonna have to buy new stuff from us but hey we're gonna put out these kits and you can just buy these kits from us and it'll take care of you when it really doesn't some of the decisions uh, that are made just really do not fly you can see on the screen now I'm pointing out uh, some of the uh, dials that are included and it lists down on the box, uh, on the back of the box, how many dials are included for each one of the different ships, and that's one of the components that was lacking. Uh, for example, for the Rebels, they really should have included more X-wings. There was only two included in the box. Everyone has more than two X-wings. Uh, you're going to be more than two of those. So right out of the gate, you're going to either need to buy a second core, a uh, second conversion kit, or you're going to need to buy the core box or you're going to need to take and buy the X-Wing expansion. There's just so many little ways that you're getting nickeled and dimed here that should not have happened. In my opinion, the conversion kit should have been it. If you just wanted to fly Rebel or Scum or Imperial or whatever, you should have been able to buy that kit and be able to good to go, be good to go because you have already purchased all this stuff. Uh, people have purchased acrylic uh, tokens and templates and other uh, accessories for their games over the years, but regardless, you still have mass amounts of everything you need you, previously. Pilot cards, upgrade cards, and everything. And these conversion kits should have given you everything that you need to take and play 2.0 out of the box, good to go. And they don't because they don't come with damage decks and they don't come with the new maneuver templates which I'm sorry uh, after dealing with uh, multiple game publishing companies I know roughly what boxes like these cost to produce and I know they're turning a profit on these all right they're not losing money on these conversion kits so they could have easily included at a bare minimum one extra sheet of cardboard I think there's like six in each one of the conversion boxes uh, that had different maneuver templates and like you see now the ship tokens that uh, are on the screen now and then other tokens like uh, the new Jedi and force tokens things like that but they could have included one extra sheet that would have had the maneuver templates on it and the deck of damage cards and you'd be pretty well good to go to play the new system. I would have liked to have seen at least a, a pared down rule book explaining the new concepts as well but that's not horrible. You can find most of that stuff online, so that's 
not a, a deal breaker, but having it to where not only do you need to buy the core of uh, the conversion kit, but you need to buy the core kit as well, the core base game all over again, of which most of us have multiple copies of the original ones anyway, was kind of a kick in the teeth. Um, one of the things, for example, that I noticed is that Luke Skywalker, uh, his pilot card does not come in the conversion kit. Uh, his, him and uh, some others does not come in the conversion kit. It comes in the core box set. That is a mistake on FFG's part, big time, because, look, you do not force people to buy a new core box set when they've already bought the core box set previously. Everyone did. You had to when you first started the game just to get your original set of templates and tokens and, and everything else you needed to play the game. So anyone who has played this game previously has already bought a core box set you should not have to buy that again when you are selling a conversion kit to upgrade players to the new system especially when what's needed is really such a small amount of actual material that's missing in the conversion kit to bring you up to snuff the new maneuver templates the damage deck and really just a, a few more tokens because they do not include enough tokens in these uh, conversion kits the uh, force tokens, the um, what are those things, the energy tokens. There's not enough of those. You can see some of them on screen now. There at the top, uh, the new tokens that they've released because they've kind of changed some of the colors up and uh, things of that nature. There's just not enough. And part of that, all right, when we're getting into the fact that the that FFG is kind of making you buy the core box set again after you've already bought it or like me I, I bought more than one of them back in the day I think I bought a couple of the the original ones and then a couple of the Force Awakens just the ships out of them because they were a good price so I had multiple of these things already I didn't want to buy more because I already had those ships I don't need them part of that though is they promised that uh, if you reserve the core kit that you would get the uh, additional damage deck and now it's coming out that they didn't order enough of those promotional damage decks by almost half maybe not half something like 60 percent or so uh, i talked to some people uh, in the industry and found out that ffg's stance on it is basically a we didn't order enough sorry there's really nothing we can do about it now so oh well now are they going to try something later to try to fix it up i don't know we're just gonna have to wait and see uh what happens as far as that's concerned I have to say though, it is a little ridiculous for them to take and make you know a promise like that, uh, offer you know existing players something like that to kind of get them excited about the new uh, system and the new everything, and then drop the ball so severely as far as that's concerned. Uh, that's just it, it's another kick in the teeth. I mean between forcing the purchase of expansions and core sets that really aren't needed because you're buying ships that you already have um not having enough tokens not having oh another thing that's missing out of the uh, conversion kits is the medium bases you're only getting four medium bases uh in these conversion kits and the amount of ships that you have that are converting over to a medium base is going to vary between the kits but it's definitely more than four and i know when i store my ships i always store the base with them well now i can't do that because i'm going to have to start switching these uh bases out between whatever ships are using them because i no longer have enough and i have to make sure that i have the exact right mix for them because the previous ships that were on small bases that are now having to be on a medium base take a special peg a little converter peg uh from small to large to make that work so you're, you're kind of limited on so many different directions and it just seems like bad business decisions were made uh, along here the whole point of the conversion kit is to retain the players that you already have we already know they have a good product uh, x-wing miniatures is one of the top miniatures game on the market right now and I love the game itself they've done well as far as that's concerned and I think their pricing for the most part is spot on. I don't think it's too much. 
uh, when it comes to most things, you know, you can usually get a new ship for somewhere between twelve and fifteen dollars, depending if it's a small one. If it's a bigger one, it might be twenty-five to thirty-five, just depending on where you're ordering. You know, all the other different stuff. Uh, that never bothered me. You know, pre-painted ships had the stuff I needed. Fun game. Uh, I'm fine with all that. But I've already bought all this crap. All right, and you're upgrading. You're changing it around. You're getting. Uh, you're fixing mistakes that you wouldn't have made had you known then what you know now uh, okay fine i don't mind buying the upgrade kit you know i bought these kits myself i was not sent these but then to find out that the kits really aren't enough so now i either need to buy more kits or i need to buy more core box sets or i need to buy more expansions for ships that i already have that's just too much ffg all right because i know you're going to start releasing uh other expansions yeah, very soon and then okay on top of all that we have to look into the fact that just on the rebels for example the conversion kit does not take care of all of my former rebel ships because now the force awakens uh set the resistance is going to be their own faction and the first order is going to be their own faction and then they're going to do factions for the Galactic Republic and the Separatists, so some of those things are getting broken off. So, for example, my T-70s, all right, the blue X-Wings, all right, versus the T-65, which are the generic X-Wings that we all know and love. Uh, you have the, the T-65s in this conversion set, but nothing for the T-70s. That's going to be in the, uh, the Force Awakens set, all right, the Resistance conversion set when it releases, which it hasn't released yet. But that's another conversion kit that I need to get. And then another one that I need to get, you know, for some of my other ships later on. So we're, we're kind of getting nickel and dimed here. You can't tell me that, okay, we're going to break these off into their own faction. So you'll have to get another conversion kit later down the road when we, uh, when we sell that one. But you just need this kit now. And, oh, oh, you need to get the, the core set too to make sure you get uh, all the new pilot cards for pilots that you had already purchased previously. I already have Luke Skywalker's card, the old, multiple of them. I already have all this other previous stuff, but it didn't come in the conversion kit. I've got to get the core set, which they didn't have. I'm having to wait. There's shipping issues, which is part of that whole damage deck thing, supposedly, that's going to come in, and we'll take and do an unboxing of that when it comes in uh, here in a few days. Uh, but again, like I said, the, the whole point of these conversion kits is the retention of the players that you already have for this massively popular game. And I know some of the people in my local group, some are really excited about it. Some were selling off their stuff as quick as they could because they were like, nope, I'm not switching over. I'm not playing this game with FFG. We're not going to do this. Uh, we're just going to go. So my opinion, all right, and this is just my opinion, they should have done everything to include selling these things at cost all right not making a profit on them to keep existing players happy all right they would not have to have included too much more physical product physical product that they were already printing so it's not like they would have to create extra dies or anything with the manufacturer to create rule books or uh more damage decks or templates or anything like uh, along those lines that stuff already exists okay so you could have easily slipped the sheet that has the templates on it into the conversion box they didn't because they want you to buy the core box they didn't put the damage deck in there because they want you to buy the core box they didn't put all the pilot cards or all the possibly upgrade cards i'm not sure if there's any that are in the core box that aren't in the conversion kit we'll have to wait and see uh, but they could have put those pilot cards into uh, this box. Now, it has it listed down. To be fair, it has it listed down on the sheet uh, included with the uh, conversion kit that this kit contains everything not contained within the core base game. Okay, you, you, just because you're telling me that, you know, in your little pamphlet in the conversion kit doesn't mean I'm happy about it when the conversion kit again in my opinion should be the end all be all especially for those players who've been playing for three four five years have bought all this stuff have multiples of this stuff don't want to buy another core set to get 
multiples of other stuff that I already have. I got a bag of tokens from all the extra tokens from the previous stuff that I bought that I didn't need. All right, I don't want to buy extra stuff that could have and should have been included here, and they still would have made a profit. There's no way they wouldn't have made a profit had they included those few extra cards and cardboard tokens to take and bring us up to snuff with a one box purchase. That absolutely should have been their goal for a moment one. Hey, for players who have been at this for a while, I want them to be able to buy this box, one box, and be able to take and jump right into the 2.0 system without anything else required. This box, that's it, and keep it under this price point, all right? Whatever the, the case may be. But then there's some still uh, other little issues with the conversion kit to, uh, itself and its quality of life issues that make me think less towards negligence and more towards cab as far as some of the decisions that they were making as far as all this is concerned. Uh, it, that has to do with, all right, for example, on the screen right now, I've got the uh, pilot cards that I'm showing off. Well, with those pilot cards, you need the ship token to go on the base, all right, to keep track of the stats and uh, who's actually in the ship, all that other good stuff. They made some holy, holy stupid decisions on who they put on the uh, ship bases, all right, the ship tokens themselves that go on the base. Uh, some examples of that uh, in the scum. Dengar and Tell are on the frack of the same token. Multiple people fly Den Dengar and Tell, but now if you want to do that, you either have to buy an extra contracted scout, another conversion kit, or proxy uh, a different ship token to represent them because you're not going to have uh, two of them. All right? So you effectively have two but they're on the same token, front and back. That's not the way to do it. They should never have been front and back. Uh, there's another one for the Shadowcaster. You've got uh, Asajj and Ketso. F again, front and back. What the hell are you thinking? Multiple people flew those ships together. I know FFG had seen lists that had two Shadowcasters with Asajj, and, uh, Asajj Ventress and Ketso flying together. So why in the hell would they have those two pilots front and back on the same cardboard token so you don't have two of them that you need? You could have easily had Saj on one side, a generic Shadowcaster pilot on the other, Ketsu on a separate token, which there already exists a separate token, with another generic pilot on the back of that. It would have worked out much better than putting the unique pilots on the same token. Uh, you've got the same issue as far as Han and Chewbacca, two of the biggest names in Star Wars, are on the front and back of the same token. What the hell is FFG thinking doing that? That is a boneheaded move, and that's one of the ones where I'm just sitting here going, I don't want to hate on the company too much. I don't want to hate on this. I don't want to put out a whole lot of bad press. Uh, as far as the new 2.0 conversion goes, I know it's going to be difficult. I know there's going to be uh, pills to swallow. But stuff like this, all right, quality of life stuff like this either tells me they did not put any thought into it. All right, they didn't have people play testing this thing at all, which I know they did. All right, I know there were people who were play testing it. I know there were other reviewers who got copies ahead of time. I know there were reviewers and other who got copies, uh, you know, at Gen Con. Those I'm not as worried about. It's the ones that were sent this stuff uh, well ahead of time. Were they not listened to? Were they not calling out this stuff? Was it not being uh, spoken about? These are minor issues that could have easily been corrected prior to all this stuff being printed out. Or was it not caught until after printing had already start, uh, started and they were like, nah, we're just gonna let it fly as it is and if they don't like it, they can just take and buy another kit and they'll have the amount of tokens they need that way. Uh, as it is, it really comes across like they set it up that they want you to take and buy two conversion kits for each faction. Uh, I've got a buddy of mine who plays a lot with his son and they fly different factions. So if he really realistically was going to get everything possible that he would need, 
he would need to buy two of each one of these converters and a core box, maybe two core boxes to set him and his son up. So we're talking, what, $380 roughly that he would have to spend just to get himself and his son uh, twisted over to uh, 2.0. Uh, on screen right now, you can actually see me pointing out that uh, all the ship bases have the bullseye marker. It's a It was a new thing that they had brought up uh, later into the season one, and now all the ship bases have that, which is nice because it allows some different rules and different uh, things to be put into the game. Like I said, and, and I've said previously, I'm not upset with the switch to 2.0, okay? I'm not upset with revitalizing the game, changing things around, getting rid of the massive amount of errata that we had, bringing us back to base one, getting us more back to uh, uh, dogfighting and, and what the game was built on and getting uh, rid of the power creep that had happened, which will happen again. It's always going to happen. Maybe they'll do a season three down the road. But it just seems like they either horribly, horribly missed some very basic quality of life changes they could have made that would have vastly improved this switch over for their customer base. Or they were going for a cash grab and said, to hell with it, we're, we're in this for the money, we're going to make our money, you know, to hell with it if they don't like it. And honestly, right now, I've got to lean towards the cash grab just from the evidence I have on hand. You know, will FFG see this and respond? I don't know. They're welcome to. They're welcome to contact me at the email in the description. If they do, I'm more than welcome to, uh, willing to do another video uh, explaining if there's some valid reason for some of these concerns. Or if I'm just talking about out of my ass, I'll, I'll say that too. I don't care. But when you have things like these, quality of life with the pilots being on the wrong side, you know, just simple stuff like that that shows not a whole lot of thought was put into it. Like, what are you thinking? And then uh, not enough components being included in the kits to really get you where you need to be. Um, not enough of the promotional damage decks, which they knew everyone was going to want. So if you have everyone going nuts over these things, why would you under order by as much as 40, 45 percent, which you need? You over order. OK, uh, of what you're going to need, you know, roughly what your player base is, you, you know, your numbers. So how do you make that big of a deal? We're not talking five percent. We're talking like 40 percent that they under ordered on these things. And uh, supposedly they're just not able to get more or they're not going to bother to get more because it'll take a while. Uh, I'm not going to get in the whole thing, but they're going to have some irritated customers who were promised X and got shit you know uh, so that's going to irritate people and again uh, the biggest thing for me really comes down to the fact that we're having to purchase a core kit all over again a core base game and their goal absolute goal should have been for a moment one get people out the door with one box in their hand if they want to play just one faction all right i'm fine with having a box per faction but say i just want to play rebels all right get me out the door with one box in my hand that has everything in it that I need to go to 2.0. Don't tell me, okay, well, this is your conversion kit, but you need to go buy that core base game that you've already bought three, four times before to get the rest of the stuff to get you there. You're almost there with this, but you might want some more maneuver dials too, so maybe you should get two kits. You know, They should have had one out the door, everything you need, one-stop shopping, Walmarted the hell out of this thing and said, hey, bam, one box, you're good. Uh, that's my biggest thing. That's uh, that's really where they let us down on this. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments if you think I'm talking out of my ass uh, or if I'm wrong on this. Uh, I just think after how much the fans have supported this game, how we've brought it to the next level, how... It, you know they've done a good job with it i'm not uh, that's the thing is they they made a good game they obviously did a good job if the game has succeeded as well as it has but it doesn't get there on its own you, your fan base is the ones paying your bills they're the ones that get you all the money we're the ones spending it so at the end of the day you've got to take care of your fans you've got to take care of the people who pay your bills and right now i don't feel taken care of i don't feel appreciated 
I feel like I'm viewed as a piggy bank that can spend just a little bit more. It's all right. We can get another 40 out of them. We can get another 30 out of them. We can get another 50. You know, whatever the case may be, have it all in the box. Have everything that you need. And I'm talking about it on screen here. Um, the amount of stuff. Y-Wings, for example, they didn't include enough uh, maneuver dials for the Y-Wings. There's just... And some of the pilot cards. It's weird. The Some of the uh, ships, they would have X amount of maneuver dials and X amount of uh, upgrade cards and then X amount of pilot cards. And you really didn't have enough to work different things out, different uh, ship lists. It's just... I don't know if anyone actually sat down and went through the whole kit and looked at it and said, okay, well, these are the lists that I can make with what's in the kit. Is this appropriate? Can I fly these pilots together? Oh, no, I can't because the pilots are on the same damn token. Maybe we should switch that around. That's, like I said, it's negligence or it's a cash grab. And right now I'm just leaning towards crash, uh, cash grab because it just seems to be too many mistakes and then the deliberate leaving out of certain contents uh, into the core box itself to force people to get the core box as well. Uh, that's really what kind of tips me off to it. Uh, I'll let you guys know I'll do another video uh, when I get my core box. I'll do an unboxing of that and uh, let you guys know what all comes in that and what the deal is. I'll let you know if I got the promotional deck and if I found out as far as what else they're doing as far as the uh, the promotional decks are concerned they are neat i saw some pictures of them they're real cool they showed like the specific damage part of the ship's main damage it's real cool but there's not going to be enough to go around so hope you get yours uh i doubt i'm going to get one if i do yay if not it it is what it is uh do be on the lookout i will have that tournament uh up here in a couple of weeks it's going on i think it's the 22nd of this month and i'll be there filming it uh, some of the matches it will be a 2.0 tournament so you guys will get to see how some of this stuff is actually working in action now all right well i appreciate you guys listening to my rant like i said if you think different or if you think i'm on point leave a comment down below let me know what you think uh share this around if you think i'm on point and you think ffg needs to hear uh what we're uh what we're upset about all right y'all take care i will talk to you in the next one